Hello, in this video we will be showcasing the power of Palette Fusion. Now, for this first example, what we're going to do is compress the palettes used by these three models into a single texture. Now, let's have a look at what they are equipped with at the moment. So, we'll click on the characters one by one. And you can see that they have a material and in this material they have a texture if we select the texture you'll see this is a 512 texture it's actually not a large texture at all and if we click on the second character you will also see that he is also using the exact same texture now you might ask yourself is it worth compressing this texture the question the answer is it's it's still it's small texture but it could be a lot smaller specifically if you only plan to use these three models then most of these colors are not even required so how do we compress this texture well use palette fusion manager the first thing we need to do is to reference all our models that we want to compress before we do that Let's lock the inspector and drag the desired models into add objects of interest right here. Now, obviously, there's an easier way to do this as well. Um, some models might have many materials and you don't want to drag them all manually like I have. Another way to do this is to let's remove these at zero. And instead, we could just drag the parent object combination of parent objects just like that and then we can say extract objects you don't want to include an active objects for this example but if you do click include an active objects it would also include these objects here which is fine depending on your use case now I'm going to extract objects and by doing so it has given us all their materials right here now you might say well how come there's three extra materials here and the answer is because the rest are for the other accessories these items contain so one for this canteen click on the second one that's for this sword right here the third one and that's for another th another sword so we have actually six materials, not three. I actually assumed it was three, but I was wrong. But that's why it's useful to use this tool right here. No need to make assumptions. Just use this tool right here to extract all the materials. Now, the reason why we have provided you this is in case you don't actually want to merge all the textures and you want to be more specific. Now that these textures are merged, quite simply, all we have to do is opti click the optimize word right here you have an option to name your folders and files that are going to be created but they're just extras keep in mind right now we have set it to share exact colors and this will usually compress it to the maximum so let's optimize and see what we get so that was quick, but it could take a while if you have selected, I don't know, let's say a few hundred models, it could take a lot longer, so bear that in mind. As you can see, nothing really has changed. So what would happen if you actually go back to their characters and click on their model, for example, let's unlock this, you would realize that they have a new material. And if you click on the texture of this material, you find out there's hardly any information in it because all the information has been saved in pixels. If you also select the other characters, you will also realize that they are also sharing the exact same material and the exact same texture. Even if we go back to the other three materials like the water canteen or the sword, if we click on those as well, you'll see they are also sharing the same material and the same main texture as well. Now, you can see the size of this material is 5.3 kilobyte. It's a 32 by 32. The size generally changes, 
it could get smaller or larger generally between two kilobytes or, or six kilobytes maximum i don't know actually why this is uh, 5.3 usually we get a lot smaller in size actually if we were to go to show an explorer it's actually not 5.3 kilobytes it's actually just one kilobyte okay so for this example we're going to be doing exactly the same thing as the last example but with our last example you realize that all the three soldiers had the same material and the same texture assigned to them to begin with so in this example we're going to prove that you actually do not need the same material and the same texture assigned to each character so let's do this um, let's open our palette fusion manager and let's lock it up let's select these three characters or four characters drag them here extract objects and there are one two three four five six seven objects here if we click on each object we can inspect the materials they are using so this first character is using a 2k by 2k texture and if we were to click on the second one he is using a 512 times 512 texture it's a completely different texture as well at the same time if we were to click on the third one a female queen if we click on her texture you will notice that she has a 1k texture and if we click on the fourth one the dwarf and then we click on the dwarf click on the texture you realize that's a 4k texture so not only is the texture size different for each model we are also using four completely different textures and materials to start off with now before we continue let's find out what these other three items were okay so one is a sword one is a what is that it's a character attachment i think it's his eyebrows um oh no it's his hair and i'm assuming the last one is his beard so we're going to be adding those as well let's go back to palette fusion and simply just optimize i don't care much about the fold the suffix texture suffix and material suffix it's completely optional and if we say optimize it will not override the last folder we created because it automatically makes sure it does not do that i will show you that in a second so nothing's changed we click on our characters if we click on the material maybe they got a little bit brighter or shinier all you have to do is reduce this to 0 0.2 which is what the original one was and you should have the exact same results now if we click on that texture this is the new texture created now let's go to the folder and you can see that even though we didn't add any names to the suffix and the file names it created a separate folder from our previous example so this is our new example folder if we click on the texture you'll see it's a 32 by 32 it says 5.3 kilobyte but that's not very accurate if you go to file information it should tell you the size this is also inaccurate go to go to short explorer it tells you it's one kilobyte Texture size is one kilobyte. Okay, well that's done. Um, let's double check and see if all characters are actually using that same texture. So if we click on the knight, he is definitely using it. If we click on the red demon, he is also using the exact same one. And if we click on the dwarf, for example is also using the exact same texture so we don't need the 4k texture we do not need the 2k texture 
we don't need the one key texture and they have all been merged into a single 32 times 32 texture now we would like to show you what it means to share colors you can do that by going to palette fusion manager and select share exact colors before optimizing but how do we demonstrate that the best way to demonstrate this is by using our colorize tool our colorize tool is not included in this asset but you can get it separately from the asset store so we're going to open our up our colorize tool which is a palette modifier we're going to get the prefab colorize manager and drag it to the hierarchy now we're going to select palette fusion manager and select our three models extract the materials of interest and optimize but before that make sure you have selected share exact colors make sure you have selected the correct render pipeline okay now we can optimize now that we have optimized the textures let's see what it means by color sharing Let's open up our colorize manager which basically modifies the textures and select our first character we're going to say contains non it does not contain non-solid colors actually so we're just going to get colors for now and now you can see that when we select specific colors they all share the exact same color and you can see this because it's highlighting all of them so if I was to change the color of one of these materials, all of the units that are sharing that color will also change the color of that material. This is color sharing. In the next example, we're going to look at what it means to prevent colors from sharing. In this example, we're going to look at preventing colors from sharing instead. Let's select the unit of interest, extract the objects with the materials. But before we optimize, we would like to change this option to prevent color sharing. Now that that's done, we're going to click optimize. Let's go and test it. Click our colorize manager, select any of the models, one right here and get colors now when we modify the model it does not seem to affect the other models despite the fact that it shares the exact same colors as those models this material and texture are using the exact same texture for all three models so why is this exactly happening but before we assume that this is definitely happening Let's go and optimize or modify the color of a different unit and see if this still holds true. Get colors. And as you can see, it doesn't affect any of the other units either. No matter what you change it to. Okay, to successful. Okay, so now we're going to talk about grouping. So color grouping. To demonstrate this, we have made two groups of units. They're the exact same units, just copy pasted. And we're going to assign one as the right group and one as the left group. And when we're going to add these units to the color palette, we are going to want the right group to share colors that are exactly the same with each other, but we do not want them to share those colors with their group on the left side. However, the left side will also share the exact colors with each other. Now to do this, all we have to do is click on Palette Finishing Manager and go to Custom Sharing. Now we're going to add the right group first. We're going to extract 
object and you can see the color share ID right here. I'm going to clear this and now I'm going to add the left group second and extract objects again. See all of these have a different group number now. You can change this manual as well right from here if you want to but it should auto change the group every time you add more objects. Anyway, let's optimize. Now that that's done, we could test it by going to the colorize manager and let's pick one of the units from the right group right here. It colors. And as you can see, the right group shares the same colors with each other. Let's test the left group now. And as you can see, the left group is sharing colors with each other. Now, you might be thinking, what is this? Are these two different textures and materials? The answer is no. All of them are using the same texture and material. So if we click on the material, there you go. And if you go to the right group and also click material, it's exactly the same material and texture. The difference is we have made two different sets of color groups that are exactly the same, but for two different groups of models. So they do not share or the UVs do not point at the same colors for the models.